So no rental car this week. Work's been kind of slow, but thankfully Grip was kind enough to send me a box of stuff. So I thought I'd take a shot at doing a product review. This is Grip's all-in-one wireless charger, and if it's something you're interested in, leave me a comment below. Just say hashtag watch me grip, and the first three people to say that, I will mail you one of these for free. So this retails for $29.99, and there's a link below if you want to buy one. Uh, made out of pretty good quality materials. This right here is the basic unit. It's an oval-shaped piece of plastic with two arms on the side, and those arms kind of hug your cell phone gently to keep it in place. On the back of the unit, there's an elbow joint, and that allows you to connect this to a bunch of different pieces so that you can attach this to your car in a bunch of different ways. And this one has QI wireless charging, so when you actually plug it into your vehicle and connect it via a uh, USB cable, the arms on the side automatically just sort of extend, and then when you place your cell phone on the unit itself, those arms come in, hug your cell phone, and automatically charge it. It's actually pretty cool. One criticism, though, is that it's kind of slow. Uh, so if you're looking for something that you can instantly attach your cell phone to, this, this might not be it. But if you're willing to wait two or three seconds, it's not too bad. So my cell is a Pixel 3a, and it doesn't have this QI wireless charging built into it. So that's not a huge selling point to me. What I really like about the grip is that there's so many different ways that you can attach it to your vehicle so you can get it absolutely perfect in the way you want it. So let me show you that now. So let's start with the vent attachment. And this connects the same way everything does, just to the back of the unit into the ball joint. And then you're going to turn this screw to tighten it and hold it in place. Now this has a little hook on the end of the attachment that you're going to insert into your air vent on your vehicle and it grabs onto the back of the vent. And then the two feet you see on the bottom of the attachment, that's just sort of rests gently on your vehicle. So really it's the weight of your cell phone and this small hook on the back of the vent that's holding it in place. So it's not super secure, but uh, you know, I drove around town using this and uh, my cell phone didn't fall, it didn't wobble around at all, so it works pretty well. I do want to point out though that it doesn't work with every air vent. So I was able to successfully connect it to my wife's Kia Sedona minivan, but uh, it wouldn't attach to my Prius C. I, I tried all different kinds of ways, but it just wouldn't reach the back of the vent and hold it in place. So it's not perfect for every vehicle. So what I prefer is the CD attachment because that worked on both of my vehicles. It's just this piece right here and it has a, I don't really know how to describe this, kind of a flap in the middle with a screw, and that sort of widens the size of the piece that you're inserting into your CD player, so it holds it in place. So what I did was unloosen the screw all the way so the unit was flat. I pushed it into the CD slot in both of my vehicles and then turned the screw just to raise that flap a little bit to give it a tighter connection to the vehicle. And once you do that, the thing is solid. It's connected to your vehicle extremely securely. And I unintentionally brushed past this, but this unit connects the same way as the vent attachment, right? You just put that ball joint into the socket in the back of the unit, tighten down that screw, and then the cell phone portion of the unit, the one that squeezes your cell phone, is attached to the CD player insert. So this is what I've been using for the last couple of days, and I put it through the ringer. I mean, I've done some pretty aggressive driving with some pretty strong cornering, and my cell phone just stayed there the whole time without falling out. So I'm really happy with this CD attachment. But maybe you use your CD player a lot, so this isn't a good fit for you. There's a third option as well. There's this arm right here with a suction cup on the bottom, and you connect it just like you do the other two ways. You insert the ball joint into the back of the main unit and tighten down the screw to hold it in place. And then you can use the suction cup to attach this either to your dash or to your windshield or even to a side window. Yeah, so I attach it to my dash just for fun. Uh, it wasn't super secure. I think the weight of the cell phone being so far extended away from the actual dash is a little bit difficult for this. I don't really think that's what this is designed for anyway, but it does work. And uh, when you do it unattach, the suction cup from your dash. Uh, there's no damage, no like you know glue residuals or anything like that. Um, I couldn't find anything at all to complain about. I'm not sure if you caught this, but I have a band-aid on my hand right now that's kind of falling off, and that's because I uh, recently got a puppy. Her name's Jeju, and she's teething right now, and she bit me pretty good the other day, so I got kind of a little bit of blood in my hand. Uh, anyway, moving on. 
So where I think this attachment works really well is when you attach it to glass. So I was driving, actually I was being driven around town by my wife. I attached this to the driver's side window and man, the thing is secure. I was kind of worried that it was gonna fall off eventually because the suction cup would lose its suction to the window. But I think we held it there for a good two hours and it never fell off. The thing is super secure, so I'm very, very happy with this attachment. Personally, I don't think I'm gonna use it because I really am big on visibility and I don't like anything blocking my view, especially out the windshield, but you're probably less cautious than me, so this thing is uh, pretty good. I think you'll like it. But if none of these work for you, there's also an attachment right here that actually has adhesive on it. So you can peel off this red portion and uh, stick this to your dash, to your windshield, anywhere in the vehicle that you want that you can get a firm stick to. The only downside is that getting this off is probably going to be next to impossible unless you're willing to damage your car. So I didn't try this out because I kind of didn't want to, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to work fine. And it attaches to the unit the same way they all do with the ball joint on the back, tighten the screw, and then you're good. So just in case I wasn't clear at the beginning, uh, this is a sponsored video. I did not go out and purchase this on my own. Grip was kind enough to mail it to me. So you might want to take my thoughts, my review, with a little bit of a grain of salt. But with that being said, I'm pretty happy with this, especially with the CD player insert. I mean, I can't remember the last time I put a CD into my vehicle. I generally listen to podcasts and audiobooks over myself. So I think this is something I'm gonna use for quite some time. Only criticism I have is that it's not a super attractive looking attachment. It's a little bit bulky in my opinion, but uh, you know, that doesn't bother me too much. So I think I'm gonna give this one four stars. Great unit, exceptional price, and I really, really like that there's so many different ways that you can attach this to your vehicle. That's a big plus, especially since you know, we're all gonna buy new cars eventually. And it's nice to know that uh, if it doesn't work the way you used it in your old car, well, maybe you can use a different attachment for your new car. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember, comment below with hashtag watchmegrip and I will send you one of these for free if you're one of the first three people to do so. Thanks again, talk to you soon.